Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome to 2024 of Halloween Day. As you guys know, I have kind of a haunted porch where we're going to potentially scare some trick-or-treaters. I know Casey's going to be making some Halloween snacks here this morning, but I want to show you my decorations that uh, we have for this year. Didn't really go all out. I want to show you everything finalized up, and it looks like something blew over. It's windy today. Let me put my shoes on here. We got to... You gotta fix this guy. Oh my goodness, everything is falling over today. What's going on with the wind? It's crazy. Wow, wow, wow. All right, well that blew over. I'm gonna have to fix that. Everything is a muck today. Everything's a muck. I don't know how much scaring this is gonna do. I'll show you what it does. I'm gonna be controlling it from the inside. The goal is to scare some trick-or-treaters, you know? It's not the best, but hey, it's all fun and games. All fun and games. Now I did actually get a very long HDMI cable so I can actually put my sound bar outside and uh, play like Halloween music while the trick-or-treaters are, are coming here. I think it's kind of fun, right? I didn't get a smoke machine this year, just uh, after the hurricane, I kind of just lost interest in Halloween of putting everything back up and taking it down and stuff. So um, apologize on that if you guys were looking for something crazy this year. We'll get better as the years go on and we accumulate more Halloween stuff. We have the candy already for the kids here. We have a lot. We have a lot. I'm hoping we don't run out. Can you get, I didn't know growing up candy's like really expensive. 60 bucks for all that. What? No rain is in the forecast today, so I'm gonna bring this outside, get it set up. Trigger treating is actually really, really soon, so gotta get this all ready to go. Forgot I still actually have the wrap it came with, so this should protect it from like anything out there, like getting the speaker inside dirty. This should do the trick. This is awesome. You guys hear it? This old town of Halloween. <laughs> I love YouTube. That's on just YouTube. What you guys are watching this on, that's what I, I just look up. I'm going to look up a playlist. Um, yeah, cool. We're all set. The setup is ready for the trick or treaters. I don't think this is going to scare too many people, but we'll see. I got to figure out how to get this thing to stop blowing. It's too windy out. Trick or treaters, prepare for doom. <laughs> I found this playlist, so shout out to whoever put this on, on YouTube. In the meantime, before we start cooking like some spooky stuff, I do need to eat some lunch. We just recently went to Ohana at the Polynesian at Disney World, so I'm gonna heat up these amazing noodles. They're the best thing on this planet. I just tested the candy too, it's, it's good. It's some good stuff. Casey's on her way home now. I will say this, this is kind of a full circle moment for me. Um, and for Casey and I just in general, because last year um, we actually went trick-or-treating. Well, you didn't go trick-or-treating. We were just walking around because you just wanted to be one with like the atmosphere, even though I lived in an apartment. And um, here we are now actually owning a house in the same neighborhood that we just wanted to be a part of. And we decided to go and just walk around, watch people trick-or-treat. Now we get to hand out candy today, scare the trick-or-treaters. So it's really kind of just a full circle moment of just kind of just saying, wow, we love this neighborhood. You know, I wonder if we'll ever be able to be a part of it. And here we are, which is, which is nuts. As, as silly as that might sound, but Case and I were just talking about it last night and how awesome that is that now we have a house here, you know? So thanks for watching every day, guys. Thanks for watching. Casey! She's home! Happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween. It's Trick or Treat, our first one. I just got done telling the story about how we we were walking last year. Yeah. And we're like, oh, it'd be so cool to be part of the, the neighborhood. And we are! I know. I remember talking with this one couple. I don't know if you mentioned this, but there was this I one couple. And they were like, oh, you guys are so sweet. We would love for you to live on our street. And guess what? We live on the we street. We practically do. I mean, we're like... Technically one straight over, but it still counts. Okay, what are we making tonight? What are we having for Halloween we're besides not, candy? We're not doing anything too crazy, but we are gonna have pizza spools, which are essentially a recreation of what they have at Universal. It's those mm -hmm. little 
like pastry shells with um, just normal pizza ingredients like pepperoni, cheese, sauce of course, um, then salad. Mm -hmm. And candy. Maybe the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Casey's sister and brother are coming over, but they'll be off camera. Yes. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Let's scare some trick or treaters. Woo! Wait, are you handing out candy? Subtly scared. What? Are you handing out candy? We're gonna take turns. Okay. We're all gonna do it. We're gonna all take turns. I have a feeling that it's not gonna be as busy as I'm expecting it. I've heard some other neighborhoods around here do get extremely busy, but I don't know if ours will. I don't okay, know. We're not us. like in the main part, so I feel like that might. I don't know if that's saving us or if that's hurting us. I don't know. But I'm just excited to pass out candy for the first year in like 10 years. I've been in an apartment for the past probably like nine years. This will be a fun night. Let's go, 60 bucks, I can't believe it. So we have like 500 pieces of candy. Gotta Although candy. I did ask him to open up the factory favorites first. And he opened up the one that's not the factory favorites. And he's like, how do I know which one's the factory favorites? What does it say in the front? Do Factory not open. <laughs> we we don't have the ingredients yet. We're waiting for them to come on over and we will have the ingredients. Here's what I'm wearing for Halloween. Also, um, thanks for all the love on yesterday's video for Casey's return back. You guys have two days in a row with the case machine. Oh, look at her too. Look at you. You look I, so beautiful. Thank you. I got my pumpkin bow, my ghost earrings, my skeleton pajamas, and I'm ready. You know what I'm excited for? What? See that beautiful ghost over there? We get to change that to a Christmas no, one. No, I actually am really sad. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought that was going to be exciting well, for you. it is exciting. Uh, tomorrow is officially Christmas in my eyes, however, what that you? doesn't... I found a, like... Yeah, it chocolate. happens. Yeah. So I'm trying to see, so I don't want to I was like, what are you doing? Are you trying to make I it look good or something? somebody like a half open, like I don't know how that happened. Oh my gosh, wait a second. I gotta make sure these ones don't taste bad. These are my okay. favorite. Make sure they're not poisoned. Yes. All right, doing, doing the work for us. So our first Halloween in the house together. So here we have some factory favorites mixed with some other favorites of Swedish fish and sour caps, and there's different kinds. The kids will have a nice selection. We have plenty more factory favorites and these gummy candies. I have some separated for those with allergies. I did research. Mm. Um, we have some other things that are like for kids with severe allergies with the candy. Anything we have some other random little things to give them, like stickers and pins and even some plushes. And we have extra Kit Kat and Hershey's separately. Side note, um, these actually were my favorite candy bars growing up. I didn't like chocolate. I only liked the, the Hershey's cookies and cream. And my grandma that you guys didn't meet, um, unfortunately she passed away before like I even started doing YouTube, um, always would have this for me. Always, always, always. All I gotta say, I hope we get trick-or-treaters because we don't get trick-or-treaters, so we're moving. I agree with that. We I need to move into that. a neighborhood that appreciates Halloween. By the way, guys, too, um, for those who tune in every single day, first of all, thank you for tuning in every day. Um, there is a very um, crazy video coming out tomorrow that I can't talk about right now until you guys see that video. But just know I'm dealing with something right now and you'll know why tomorrow. So stay tuned. Kind of cryptic, but it's Halloween. Gotta be a little suspicious, at least spooky. Right, Case? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh. This is Casey's new mug. I am such a sucker for cups. I got myself a brewmate. If you don't know what this is, it's a, it's a very nice cup. It's kind of like the new Stanley, if you will. Um, what I like about it is that you can lock it. it is pretty can you nice. imagine if I... Yeah, imagine. <laughs> I didn't lock it in the right way. I actually have to check. Um, brewmate? Yeah, brewmate. Brewmate. And when you twist the lid back, then... Wow. Can you hear my slipping though? Yeah, a little bit. I can't remember they can. It's iconic. Yeah. I just thought somebody was outside, but it was it was Jack Skellington. Smile. Say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. 
Our neighbor just told us all the trick-or-treaters are downtown celebration. We know we're kind of like the celebration that people forget about, so hopefully we do have some people come here. We got the pizza skull little formation things, and then guess what? We have jello shots to pass out to the adults. Did you think I was gonna say kids, guys? Come on now. These are for the adults. These have alcohol in it, right? Okay, yeah. Adults only. We haven't had one trick-or-treater yet. Very sad. We have our first trick-or-treaters. <laughs> oh, they haven't, they haven't knocked yet. There we go. Trick or treat. Oh. Hey, Hello. how's it going? Hi, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Did you love the picture of you guys? Oh, no, uh, it's okay. okay. We're, We're okay. Good. Still no trick or treaters. We did have one unofficial one, but. No, it was official. It was just one we knew. Yeah. Kind of wanted them to be our first. Wanna do city. You jamming? Shake a booty so Now you're mine. You got some good moves. <laughs> Real quick, we're gonna do a tribute to my grandpa who always handed out candy on Halloween. So this one's for you, grandpa. Love you, grandma. Trick or treat. Hello. Hello. Can I have some candy? Of course you can. <laughs> Thank you. Me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> You're a little greedy, huh? Yes. You're a grandpa. At this rate, though. though if We're returning we a lot of candy. Well, no, if we don't get a lot of kids, like, I'm letting them take, like, heaps. We'll be the heaps. cool house, right? Hopefully they'll tell all their friends for next year. All right, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> Ingredients already. Next up, we make it, and I'm making it. Trust me, guys. Nobody else is doing it. It's just me. Me, myself, and me. Yep, no one's laughing at me right now. I'm doing it myself. Yes, yes. I see a trick or treater. It's one, it's Anna across the street. Why did they bypass us? We are the cool house. Step one is eat a pepperoni. Oh my gosh, we have our first people. They're right here. <laughs> Got him. Go, go, go. What did the first person say? Oh, that was a lot of candy. <laughs> I want to be known as that house. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> this is so fun. Step two, put this thing on the skull tray. Step three, preheat the oven. Step four, put the cheese on. And then followed by step five, put the pepperoni on. And then step six, more cheese. And then step seven is the sauce. Is steps, what are we on, eight? Is this, yep, there more pepperoni. More cheese, and then you fold it and close it on up. And that's what it's all about. Okay, we just had someone skip us, so apparently you have to put your porch light on now these days for people to symbolize that we're, we're here for trick or treat. But like, shouldn't they know because we have like a million decorations out? Um, yeah, ran over. Anna skipped us of all people to skip us. We're playing Disney music too. Oh, no, it was Anna, right? It was Anna. Got him. <laughs> Why are this people just like, walking by? I don't know. I used to even love this as a kid. I would go trick or treating first and then I would come back and I would want to pass out candy to like the last few. Usually it's like the teenagers by that point. Um, this is so fun for me. Yes, it's a lot of fun. I'm the lookout. We're playing Booty You. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm eating the candy, it's really good. What did one kid say? We just got a huge wave of candy, <laughs> and there was a one kid who came up, and he was so cute, and I had already like picked out a handful of candy, like a nice variety, but I didn't have Hershey's in my handful, and he said, Hershey's, please. And I was like, okay, so I like fished out the same amount of just Hershey's. And I was like, do you want anything else? Like, no. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm a Hershey's kid. He's a Hershey's kid. Last step, pull it out. Yum, yum. Wait, wow. That actually works perfect. Mm -hmm. They really look good. amazing. Like this one has a scar. Oh yes. I think that's cheese. <laughs> it is cheese. <laughs> look at that. 
So simple. Even Kylo could make it. I thought you said you did. I did. Hmm. That's what I. That's what I meant. Oh. Yes. Yes. Well, you meant like you could do it. It looks so good. And we're gonna make seconds too. And I'm making a garlic butter. This looks so healthy. Oh, it actually is. It's Halloween. We're having salad too. Oh, we actually are. I need to get. I need to get that out. We've been forgetting to hand these out, so we gotta start going. And also, we have a, a Frankenstein cake too. We were just told we had the best candy. I totally agree. Just had a bite of Casey's delicious butter on top here. So that I just put a cheese head on. Huh. So good. Funny enough, we're having more people like walk by, like they're on their walks, and they want jello shots. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! A dog! We got a hot dog. And people take pictures, love it. <laughs> They're all taking jello shots, actually. <laughs> Ghostbusters! We have some Ghostbusters coming, so that's why you played this. Smile. Did it get you? How's your night going? This has been, quite honestly, the best night ever. It has been so much fun. We've gotten quite a big turnout. I was expecting maybe a little more, but pretty solid. And we've been getting some rave reviews from the trick-or-treaters. So we got the good candy, and then the parents are loving the jello shots. <laughs> Fresh they're, out. they're all gone. They're all gone. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> well, everybody, that's going to be it for our first Halloween. Definitely probably a shorter video it's because we're kind of just vibing tonight and, yeah. and having fun with some fam and chilling. So yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I've been waiting for this day for honestly my whole life. I always said when I was younger I couldn't wait. Like yes, I loved Halloween, I loved trick-or-treating myself, but I couldn't wait to like be that house people wanted to come to and trick-or-treat. Or pass out candy, I mean. I'm tired. I'm, trick -or I'm tired too. It's been a long day. I gotta get up tomorrow at 6 a.m. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long one. But this was really fun. Like a lot of fun. So much fun. Didn't really scare too many kids. I mean my proper isn't the scariest. Some people, I guess. It scared more of the bigger kids, which was weird. It was funny because all the little kids absolutely loved and were so intrigued by that yeah. pumpkin thing. But, like, the older kids were the ones that actually got spooked by it. Yeah, and Casey goes, don't scare these ones. I'm like, no, it's Halloween. We scare. I just saw, like, scare. two little kids and I was like, well, it's yeah. not in my nature to scare little kids. <laughs> I mean, I grew up scaring people, so. I know, I know. We had very different um, childhood Halloweens. That is for sure. Um, the Jello shots, like we said, were oh, a hit. Huge success. They all loved it. Everyone loved it, so that was cool. I was a little hesitant to do that because it was like, I don't know if people are going to find that weird that we're, like, passing out alcohol but at the mm. same time we're passing out candy to their children so. and they even like took it in front of us too oh there were some groups of of adults that were like full on like oh my gosh this feels like college again and they just stopped and took the Sorry. shot and like took videos mm -hmm. and all that so i think it was a huge hit oh yeah we'll be doing that again oh yeah there's nothing more we can i think i want to do next year actually like some legit prop set scare with some air because that's what i grew up with these don't have enough oomph Mm -hmm. This was this was cool and all, but like you it gotta let also... me scare. You gotta let me. It was hard. It was tough to film too. I yeah. gotta set up actually a camera, but I knew this one wasn't gonna be too like crazy or anything. Yeah. So, but at the same time, it was our first year, and it was a lot of stuff that we had to buy because we didn't have anything for ourselves, yeah. like yeah. inside and outside. So you know we have to work up to that. And it's like, and where I would do say we, store we did now? a really <laughs> great job so far. Like people were like commending us for yeah we don't have that big of a yard sense. either so you guys can see but we got to figure out how to store it that's the next step it's we got to get storage bins for the little things we have to well we have a lot of the boxes that the big yeah i have it but like so. i might we might get a storage unit because it's just going to take up too much space yeah right? and our garage isn't that big and i'm i'm a garage girly now <laughs> okay what i didn't park in the garage for the longest time oh that's I have... what you mean yeah, so now the area of the garage that we were planning on probably using for storage is now where my car goes. We're going to so. use it for a gym. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I hear more kids. I do too. No one's knocked on the door ever since I know, we went I out. I we feel came like inside. 
They I have to like be outside in this Yeah, right? they don't really come and knock on your door. Only one person did that before yeah. we came out. See, I did that growing up. So. I did too. That was like a normal yeah, thing. But very interesting. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, stay tuned tomorrow. I kind of had something happen. And that's why I have to get up in the morning tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Peace out. Happy Bye. Halloween. Happy and Halloween. Uh, Merry Christmas. I hear Santa. His jingle bells are belling.